Hey, what's happening everybody? My name is Jamie Fenn and in today's video, I'm gonna show you this sweet little tip slash hack on how to export your videos extremely fast in DaVinci Resolve. Now, it doesn't matter if your projects are super basic or if you have projects that have heavy color grading and fusion composites, this is gonna benefit everybody. So without further ado, let's open up DaVinci and I'll show you how to do it. Okay, so here's the magic sauce. You wanna go into your deliver tab and you wanna come up to your settings up here and there's a few different options. You can select default templates or you know whatever you primarily wanna export as. But what I like to do is select custom. And when you do your exporting, just a few main things I wanna cover. I kinda of leave everything default. And then as far as the quality, I restrict to uh, around 30,000 and then also, this is the, the real secret sauce right here. If you come under advanced settings, you have a few options. And the options to allow you to export your projects extremely fast are these two right here. Use optimized media and use render cached images. But before you jump into your project and use these settings to export, there's a few things you need to know. Before you start editing your video, or if you're in the middle of editing your video, you need to first import your footage if you haven't already. Then go to your project settings and select your preferred codec. Then go to your clips that you want to use, right click on them and generate optimized media. For your project, you want to come down here into the bottom right hand corner where this little cog is. And this will bring up your project settings. Under your master settings, you want to come down to optimize media and render cache. And there's a few options that you can select depending on what kind of computer you're on or what you personally prefer. You do have a few options. I sometimes like to work in ProRes 422LT and I select that for both of these options here for the optimized media format and the render cache. And if you guys don't know what these are, there are some really good resources online. I will link these down in the description. And this covers what ProRes is, what the color depth is. And if you want to uh, pause right here, take a screenshot, or you can just visit the website. This will cover everything that you'd wanna know about ProRes. And as far as the DNX codex, you'll want to use this website. I'll also link this down below, and this will tell you everything that you'll need to know. But for most of you guys out there, if you're working with 8-bit video files, which a lot of cameras still today use, then you'll just wanna use ProRes LT. It actually outputs a really good image, and I've actually put some YouTube videos out there and the quality looks great. But as far as using like maybe Blackmagic pocket footage or anything that's 10-bit or even 12-bit, you will want to stick with these higher codecs. There are a few trade-offs here. If you select a higher bitrate codec or a higher quality codec, you're going to have a slower performing computer. So if you have not the fastest computer in the world, then you may want to select a lower setting. If you have a really high performance computer, then feel free to select the highest codec you want. If you're outputting for your own personal use, maybe on your phone or your Instagram, it really doesn't matter the quality if you select the lower codecs. Now, if you're exporting for a client that you want to have the best quality possible, then definitely select the higher quality codecs. If you don't select either of those options, optimize media or the render cache, DaVinci will render out from the source file. Okay, let's do a quick recap. First, you wanna import your footage. Then you wanna go down to your project settings and select the appropriate codec that you want your project to be in and render. Then you wanna generate optimized media. Then start working on your project, finish it, and just remember when you come to your deliver tab, select use optimized media and use render cached images. And when it comes time to deliver your project, it will just, whoop, it'll just shoot right to the end. Well, maybe not instantly, but it will be very fast compared to exporting without selecting those options. Hey, thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe and either click on this video or click on this video.